How are we doing? Uh, hectic. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, fun. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, you just get an opportunity, you got to seize the moment. And um, it was kind of, it was a little bit refreshing to kind of get out in the field and kind of half know the offense and just be able to let go and just play football um, and have fun with it like you did back in Pop, Pop Warner. Um, times I felt a little bit like a chick with my head cut off running around, but um, I thought it was fun. Um, could have cleaned up a lot of stuff, but I uh, thought overall it was a productive night. How do you assess, like you said, you have to know the offense, you know you basically have a week long audition. Like, how do you process that and make sure you um, I don't think there's much processing. It's just like show up early, stay late, study really hard, and uh, grip it and rip it, hope for the best. I mean, there's really no other way to do it. Um, I mean, I've stumbled enough in my career at this point, really, it's just sort of full gas, like, go 100%. Um, I mean, I'm in the facility at least last week, sun up, sun down, and it's just like, I don't have any, I don't have a whole lot of more chances like that, so I'm gonna just put my head down and, and um, keep swinging. That's not up to me. Um, I thought just the just the feeling of throwing a touchdown pass and celebrating with sort of teammates and coming to the sideline and getting the head slaps and high fives. So that was uh, it's just a feeling I haven't had in a while, and it felt really good. And um, it's uh, I don't know, it's like that shot in golf that brings you back, or like it's like that's why we do it. It was fun, and um, really glad I got to feel that again, and hopefully um, get to do it a bunch more at some point in the future. Not really. Um, more so, like, at the instance of a transaction. Um, like, you've been cut twice now. Um, and, uh, like, once you get cut, you're just like, dang. And you sort of go through worst-case scenario, and you just have to sort of use everything that I've been taught through my career with sort of meditate a lot. Um, a lot of the sort of sports psychology, everything you do through your whole career to just stay mentally strong, snap out of it, and just remind yourself a couple hours later that um, I know I'm talented, I know I can play. I just need the right opportunity and, and right situation and um, sort of right mindset. And I feel like I'm uh, sort of more capable right now at seizing an opportunity just because I feel like I've grown as an individual a lot um, since my rookie year. Uh, and um, I just feel like I've matured as an adult, as a human. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, like as funny enough as no matter how my career has gone, I feel like as a human, I'm in a better place than, um, I've been in a while and it's, it's a good feeling going out there and having fun playing football. Uh, I missed it. Uh, I think I'm just working on getting my confidence back because um, I'm the kind of football player I like. Um, I just like making plays. Um, I got to work on just being more consistent and taking what defenses give me. Um, but just naturally within my game, I like make, I, I, it's, that's how I separate myself is I, I make plays with my arm. And um, in order to do that, you just have to, I play best when I'm confident. And um, when I walk up to line of scrimmage and, um, I just, there's no hesitation. And uh, just been working on getting that back. Um, I just haven't thrown the ball that much in the last two years, being on P-Squad in Tampa and, and um, battling for a three spot in San Fran. So uh, like I said, the most fun part about the night is literally just getting to play football. I just haven't played in a while and just knocking off some rest and having fun. There were uh, there were a couple games in Arizona where um, I really felt like uh, um, I don't, you don't really notice it until it sort of <laughs> comes back. But uh, 
I mean, honestly, out here, um, I wasn't really confident in the play calls just because I was barely spitting them out. Um, but uh, it was coming off my hand probably better, better than it has in a while. Um, and that just feels really good. Yeah, well, the package kind of incidentally grew in the middle of the game. Um, I mean, we, hi we highlighted the plays we ran, but we ran through them pretty quick. Um, so on my headset, he's like, you good with this play? And I'm giving him a nod, like, yeah, I think so. <laughs> sort of like nudging a receiver, like, yo, what do you have on this? Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Hey, Josh, you think about someone like Matt Ryan, who, yes, the physical prowess is there, but a lot of it with his success has been mental. So with short sample size, quick week turnaround, but how has it been for you just to be able to work with someone like Matt Ryan and, like you said, just kind of getting your game back and getting your stride back? It's been amazing. Um, Matt's like, uh, sometimes vets you have to, uh, guys in the past, like ask them to sort of ask them questions and pick their brain and um, balance your uh, personal um, sort of, not curiosity, but your want to ask questions and annoyance. And you kind of have to walk that fine line. But Matt is like overtly like, quizzing us on our calls, like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? If I ask him anything, he immediately, he's, Matt's been amazing, and I'm very grateful. And um, hopefully, if I'm still here in a week, I get to uh, sort of see him go through the course of a, course of a season. And um, yeah, I'm really excited, and he's been unbelievable in the short time that I've been here. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, people say you don't get a second chance to make a first impression, and that is true in the macro sense of the NFL. Um, said some dumb things coming out that I'm not all that proud of, but um, I've had a lot of chances to make a first impression with new teams, and um, I think each one's been a little bit better. Um, I, like, understanding that line and, and um, how to come in and um, support slash demand things from guys and get everyone going and how to conduct yourself and um, just like what coaches to go ask certain questions and um, like it's it's I don't know, there's a lot behind the scenes and um, yeah I just I don't know I just feel like I'm growing up and uh, it's um, yeah I'm excited for the future. Weren't what? Learn kind of the maturity, the hey, like maybe Uh I mean I owe a lot of my like personal and professional development to Fitz and Ryan Fitzpatrick. Um because uh I just like I I thought I knew I thought not thought I knew it all, but like I didn't really understand um what it like really took to be a pro and to be um, like a professional quarterback in this league. Um, I mean, I, I started all through high school, all through college, um, into the NFL up to that point, other than like three games in Arizona. Um, but I got benched in Miami, and then um, and I was just like, all right, this isn't working out. Like, we got to, like, I'm, I'm tall, I'm smart, I can throw the ball. Like, what's going on here? So I was just like, I'm going to fall fits around all day, every day, every minute and see what he thinks, does, and all that. And um, that's sort of from Fitz, I learned how much time and effort and discipline and, and what a multifaceted like thing being a quarterback is. And um, so got released from Miami, went to Tampa, because I was like, I want to I wanna learn from Tom. I want to see how the best does it. Um, Miami's still paying me so I can be on practice squad and not have to worry about it. I'm going to just take a year to study what it means to be a quarterback um, and get in a, be in the same room as the greatest of all time um, or arguably the greatest of all time was, like, amazing. And so after that year, I was like, all right, let's go to San Fran and see if what I've been studying this last year and a half has, has helped me out a little bit and then didn't work out, whatever, but came here and I feel like it's a really good opportunity to, to just play football again. That's what I keep saying. I'm just really... 
sort of grateful to be able to just go out and throw a touchdown and celebrate with teammates. Uh, it was just miscommunications. There were probably a lot more than you guys even noticed, too. Oh, sure. oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to get my guy in motion, and um, I think he was like lining up or something, um, trying to get his feet in the ground. I don't know. Just got to yell his name and tell him to go across. Awesome. Thanks, you guys.